Houses in Canal Side flooded for the second time in 18 months. Four foot of water came down the street, 29 cottages, everyone's homes were completely ruined. It was just heartbreaking. I run a cancer retreat down there, so I provide free breaks for cancer patients. And, you know, we just sort of got that revamped and that was completely gutted. Our houses, as it was when we flooded, were still on concrete floors and, you know, we're really, really worried and anxious that come September this is going to happen again. Today, the actor Michael Sheen met residents who'd taken it upon themselves to clear boulders from the river. I was watching stuff on the news and on the internet, you know, and, uh, and just seeing images from, you know, my community. Family members were involved, people I knew were involved, and, uh, and seeing uh, people being evacuated from their homes, and I thought, I want to do something to help, if I possibly can, with the WCBA uh, setting up a fund. It was amazing to see people donating to it from all over the world, you know. Seeing what still needs to be done, yeah, very sobering, isn't it? Well, this is the problem, is that, you know, Storm Dennis was a while ago. There's still two-thirds of the residents from Canal Side who haven't been able to get back into their homes. I've just been talking to someone who was in tears, speaking to me, saying that she's lost everything. Um, and, and here she is, standing here, having to do this clearing herself, you know. They need some help. These people need some help. Paul Hanlon was only able to move back into his house last week. Have you started to come to terms with it yet? It's been hard. It's been really hard. Um, some people have uh, like, been on the verges of a nervous breakdown over it. It's been uh, and that's no exaggeration. It's no exaggeration. Uh, it's caused mental health problems. Our houses are below the normal level of the water. So when it floods, it can, it'll can come up to bedroom height within minutes. The aqueduct's a beautiful thing, or at least it was a beautiful thing. A tenth of it got washed away in the last storm. Uh, so it needs removing. Uh, that is the ultimate solution to uh, getting the flow of water down the, down the river. Today, Natural Resources Wales took questions and told people work is being done. People can understand the restrictions we're facing and have been, but they want to see things happen. Yeah, of course they do, and there have been some unfortunate delays because of COVID, uh, things out of our control. But we, we, we are able now to do that um, removal of the gravel that I mentioned just now as well, three, 400 tonnes of that. We've also been out to inspect the flood asset here as well because we did that within a month of the, last, the, the recent storms in March, April. So we've, we've been beavering away in the background and we do have a few things that we want to update the community on, so I look forward to that. But for some, like Vicky, the risk is still too much. I don't think I'm going to be able to move back. The, like, my children were five and one at the time, and, you know, they were four and eight months the time before. And I just can't put them through that trauma again. It's not fair on them. So you're not going to move back? No. Go somewhere else? Yeah, I feel a bit sad about it. Yeah.